do is just um, bring more awareness of sexual assault and how it can affect not just women or not just people at a bar or a party, but um, people anywhere. It can happen to anyone at any time. So that's the basis of our campaign. And um, to start off, I wanted to start with a statistic. So um, can I ask five girls to just stand up? So one out of every five women in the United States of America are sexually assaulted each year while in college. That's crazy. So one of you guys, that's crazy. <laughs> and among the women who are sexually assaulted, nine out of 10 of them know who their offender is. Nine out of the, of the ten women who are sexually assaulted every year know their offender. So only one of them is like sexually assaulted by a stranger. Yeah, it's crazy. And then um, one in four women who report the sexual assault report that it's by their intimate partner. It's like a boyfriend or a girlfriend. That's crazy. Yeah, like Happy Valentine's Day, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have to stand because I. I don't want you to stand, but you can raise your hands, the boys, all two of you. <laughs> Thank you. You're so helping me right now. Okay. Oh, can you raise your hand? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right, cool. So, since we only have two of you, I'm going to make this work. One out of 16 men is sexually assaulted. One of you will be sexually assaulted. I'm just going to go with that. Right. And since you have, I don't want to sound offensive, but since you have you're, you look, you know, while they're in college, you, you, you look easier to take, take. so um, you, it'd probably be you. Um, 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 and then also, this is, uh, I didn't really think of it this way because I am a girl myself, but one out of 45 men is forced to have sex with a female. So, you know, they can, you will be assaulted. I didn't think of it that way because most, like, you know, Sexual assault, I think, you think that happens to women so often. You think, oh, it's the girl because she's weaker, or she's like the victim, or whatever. But a lot of the times, it can happen to men too. And in your situations, you think that, oh, okay, well, just because um, I'm a woman, I'm I'm lesser, or I'm going to be the one that um, is going to be assaulted. But a lot of times, you have to look out for everyone, anyone that it can happen to. Um, in fact, every 107 seconds, which is less than two minutes, someone in America is sexually assaulted, whether it be a child whether it be an older woman or anyone can be assaulted. As you'll see in the video, one out of every 10 children is abused before they're 18. So, this is children is included a lot. <laughs> and while it is an epidemic with everyone, we kind of wanted to um, primarily focus our campaign on colleges, um, specifically in the New Haven area, because the statistics speak for themselves that in college, it happens a lot more frequently. And that's something that um, I think that as college students, we can really bring awareness to because we all probably know someone who has had something happen to them. And um, so for, primarily for our campaign, we want to do it um, reaching out to not just Southern, but also the New Haven area like Quinnipiac and um, the University of New Haven. And Elle had a really like, good idea with the posters. So, yeah. so what Elle wanted to do, so she's not here to draw it out, I got this. What she wanted to do was have these giant posters all over campus. I don't know how giant we can get them, but like giant. All right. And then have like the whole environment going around. This is not pretty. Um, with like the people. Okay, that's really bad. And then you know just have it come out. This is. Oh my God, why did I decide to Okay. Basically, these are going to be cups. So we want it to be like interactive thing going. Like so, you have the poster and then it's coming out. So you can see it, and it like really draws your attention to it. So like you would see like the trash from like a part out or like the aftermath of a party, like but like out of the poster. So, so we have to have on the ground and like yeah. really draw your attention to it. Have like arrows and stuff, but like we want it to be giant, like an obnoxious, like those posters you get on like the side of bus stops, where like really draw your attention because they're like really graphic. But yeah, that's what she we wanted were something to that kind of like was in your face, and you can't avoid it. You have to look at it. So something like imagine an Engelman walking by, and you see like a poster of someone. At a party, like some guy is grabbing onto someone a little bit too tightly, and you see the beer cans and all that. Well, I know we're not trying to say, like, oh, that's where it happens, but if we are targeting colleges, it's something that's going to grab someone's attention. And I know, like, if I was walking by, I'd be like, oh, what's this about? Like, oh my god, that I maybe just saw that last weekend. And then, you know, want to do something about it. So that was her idea. And I think that's something that we could also 
try to bring into other colleges and other schools, but um, we know that may, may not be a re realistic thing to do within the time span. So what we really want to do is work alongside BPAs, and I'm not sure if everyone knows what BPAs is at Southern, but they are the Vi Violence Prevention, Victim Advocacy, and Support Center here. So um, a couple of my story sisters work there, and um, they just say that they're really trying to um, get not freshmen, but like the, the younger generation here because we weren't really taught when we came in about sexual assault and um, they kind of host these seminars that teach people more about like what to do as a bystander, what to do when you see something happening. And now they're doing something called the Haven program. And um, Haven is just kind of like, they, they teach you more about what to do as a bystander when you're coming into college so that you're better equipped if you're at a party or if you're downtown and you're with some friends and you know something were to happen. So that's something that we want to work alongside. So we do have that in, in place right now. So that's something that we can work with. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what our campaign is. Yeah, we want to just basically get people away from the idea that it's not just some guy with a drug at a party. Like it could be anything like you as you'll see in the video, it's not as great as the other videos, obviously, but um, we took a different direction with this one. But um, we, I, I had different scenarios we put up, so like you can see that it could be like, you know, it's not just, it could be like you, your best friend, it, it, different sexes, different, it could be anybody, different ages, doesn't matter who it is, it's just, we want to educate everything anywhere all the time, doesn't matter. We want to educate everyone about how to handle the situation if it were to happen. So another idea of ours was to do a round table discussion if we can't bring the posters. I know like maybe everyone's thinking like, oh, okay, well those are kind of in your face. I'm not sure if we can do that, if that's um, able to be done on campus. It is kind of a sensitive topic, but um, a round table discussion can definitely help. I know that um, we've done, I think it was the, I'm not sure which center here at Southern did, but we did like a focus group and I know my sorority was um, involved in it and just trying to figure out more about drugs and alcohol awareness. I know that's something that we can do definitely for this as well.
trees. I know. Um, so I just want to explain some of that. It was intentional. Uh, I did it, or we, the thing about behind is we didn't want to involve people because I don't want to do genders on anything. So most of that was kind of have genderless people-ish. Um, and I didn't show the, we didn't show the end of the, um, any of the scenes because nobody talks about it. You don't ever know what happens. It's one of the most, uh, assault goes is one of the most unreported uh, crimes. So nobody, ever, they don't talk about it. Nobody ever spreads anything at the end. It just ends. And that's why we added some, some facts in there and the little voice, but it was not supposed to have any voices or anything. It was supposed to be just the visuals I wanted you to focus on, just seeing it. And um, also in, in conclusion, we just kind of think that this would be a great campaign to do um, towards the end of our class in April because we do have a, something that goes on here at Southern which is called Take Back the Night. And it's kind of like a rally campaign for um, sexual assault, people come and talk about their experiences and um, share their stories in an attempt to kind of raise awareness for this. So I think that this project and the campaign would be very feasible to do during that time because of that. And I know that's something that we can easily fit in and kind of help. So if there's a lot of stuff going on on campus already, trying to raise awareness, this is awesome to try to boost that. Yeah. That is our campaign. Uh, there's questions, we'll take questions. The teal is their the sexual awareness color. I love the video. Yeah. It was different. Yeah. <laughs> Who did the drawing? Um, my sister. Oh, okay. But yeah, that's why I wasn't all that great. <laughs> no, no. I I think it was accessible, and then it felt like maybe any of us could do that drawing. So yeah, there was that connection there. And then it didn't connect until you said it, how you really didn't attach gender to it either, which is Yeah, brilliant. that's why we just did a snap. At the, like, one of them had a ponytail, but like, girls, like that was intended for that one. But um, yeah, the whole thought process behind this was to do like the draw, you know how people do this, they tell their draw me to life stories you see on YouTube. So I wanted it to be like an actual story, like this is playing out in someone's life. So that was the whole point behind that. It's very compelling. I would be thinking about it for a while. So, it's good. Yes. Um, I, if we did this, I feel like a very important thing that we could add is that, like, if, if it's a, it's college campus, so, mm -hmm. like, if she's not saying yes, then that means no. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. people say, like, yes so, like, means no yes means and no means no, but sometimes, like, if she doesn't say anything, then yeah, they think that that's, that's not. It's not. Yeah. I think that's a very important point to yeah. also. Yeah, we got picked. We wanted to add the no consent thing, but we didn't want it to focus on that. Yeah, because so much is already on that. Yeah, it's all like, oh, you're at a party, drugged, no consent. That's usually what you think about every yeah. single time. Yeah. So we wanted to like add that in there because that is important, but then like focus on it. Yeah. Other questions? 